All right, hi YouTube. So we're gonna get straight into this video. Um, I got this hair from a vendor who I was trying out on AliExpress and to be honest, it was not that good of quality hair. This unit is a 13 by six, kinky straight, 26 inch um, stock unit. It comes with the wig and it had uh, stocking caps in the inside. The overall construction of the wig was good. It was good. I don't know why I said good like that. But it was good. Um, the length of the hair was true to length. The lace was kind of dark for me. Um, it was kind of brown. And so I had to kind of fix that. And then, like I said, the hair, the, it was supposed to be the texture kinky straight. But this hair, when it was, you, I don't know if you guys are picking up on camera, but it looks like someone took like maybe a crimping iron or something and tried to crimp the hair to a texture that was more like Afro-American and then brush it out. Um, the hairline, here's what I'm showing y'all. The inside construction of the cap. He has 13 by 6 ear to ear lace and then some lace in the back. So I'm just going to jump right into coloring the hair because I was really trying to get like a honey blonde color out of this unit. But I wanted it to have the texture of like African American hair because that's just what I'm living for right now. I'm not really feeling like silky um, textures or anything like that. I want it to just look like my natural hair but like I dyed it or whatever like that so yeah I don't know if it was the texture of the hair or if it was me because I did use hot water when I was processing it with the 40 volume developer which is pretty much you know kind of like a no-no but I didn't process this wig for no more than like 10 minutes you guys and I washed it and I moved it every step of the way so you know I just feel like the hair was never processed correctly from the beginning because it ended up just looking like a regular silky straight or body wave wig. It didn't really have any texture to it, but the fact that whatever process they put it through to try to make it look like it had texture, I think it made the hair break down quicker, if that makes sense. So here you just see me like checking it. I'm going through and I'm just checking to see if the strands are still strong, which they are. But I'm really feeling because I'm like, okay, this doesn't feel like um, kinky straight hair anymore. So here's the brightness that I brought it to. I brought it to like a 20, maybe, maybe like a 30, not like a 20, nothing. But I brought it to like a 30 color so that I could put the honey brown on there because I just wanted to be able to have like the light notes of like uh the the blonde notes come through really the honey is there whatever but um yeah so here I'm about to and I think I'm going to show you guys the products I use I use like a moisture retention conditioner from Pantene and then I also use a silicone reconstructor reconstructor a silicone mix because the hair just looks dead now, which later on I'm gonna find out is dead as hell. Um, so oh no, 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 first I'm gonna dye it the color, but y'all see that color dark, like so. I really didn't need to lift the wig that much. Um, and I'm job mad because I really didn't, uh, like the outcome of it, but. It's a learning experience. Everything is a learning experience. That hair is dead as hell when I look at it. It's making me mad again. Um, but yeah, here I'm just dipping the hair into the... I'm using Adore Honey Brown. And I'm trying to basically make sure that all the, coat, the, the hair is coated. And that it's really nice and colored and cute. And, which, and also, using that Honey Brown, it made the lace more... Uh, have more of a yellow or a brown undertone instead of like that grayish undertone that it normally has so that helped make the lace blend into my skin a little bit more which you'll see further on so here I'm just looking at it and I'll probably squeeze it out and continue on with everything that I'm doing <laughs> 
So here now, I'm just rinsing it out. Yeah, um, I'm feeling. I think I'm really going through, feeling through the texture of the hair because I'm just kind of confused as to why it just went limp like that. I I love kinky straight hair, so when I'm dealing with it, I really I know how to deal with it because it's like natural hair. But so I just decided to put the moisturizer in it, and like I said, those are the brands: Silicon Mix and. Pantene Moisture Retention or Moisture Repair or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I honestly think I bought it at like Sam's Club or something. And um, so I'm using a lot of it because um, look at all that I just dropped. Pick it up, girl. Yeah. But yeah, I'm using a lot of it because I really am irritated that this wig looks like this. And... I'm going to comb it all the way through. What you want to do is comb it all the way through. I probably didn't show that process, but of course you can see the hair is detangled and combed all the way through. And now I'm just rinsing everything out. Did I have much shedding? I did have shedding, but it honest, it was shedding, but it wasn't a lot. And that's another thing that made me realize that made me realize it was the hair and not the process because if it was the processing that messed the hair up, that hair would have been falling off the wig because I would have over it would have been over processed, but it was attached to the wig. It was okay, so I'm back now. Here I'm gonna be showing you guys how the highlights came out. Now, what I didn't show is that I went in with oils and I did do a individual um like highlight process, and honestly, that eat processed and made the hair even worse because it over processed and broke off the ends so overall this hair just was giving me problems and I'm going through and I'm blow drying it and it's like when you blow dry hair it looks so pretty but you really really just cannot tell until you have to wear it and it's on your head of the actual you know way that it looks now let's see what else did I do? Um, now, what I did do that I shouldn't have done in this process is I used the oil-based product, which you'll see coming up. This process I do with all my wigs. I put it on the mannequin head after I'm done. I style it, and I make sure that the hairline is going straight back. Um, I do that so that the application process for me is a lot easier. And here I'm just kind of showing you guys the detail of the wig before it's styled, the way it's moving and everything. And as you can see, it looks damaged. There go me, no makeup, no wig, no nothing. Organic as hell, you know. I cut my hair off. Anybody know me knows I do that all the time. Um... Yeah, so I'm just showing y'all the overall of the wig. So now I'm taking and I'm I'm a uh, hot combing the hairline back, which it really didn't want to go back because it was so damaged, and that's really why I had the bright idea to get the wax stick because it makes it stick down, and I really shouldn't have done that because it just made it worse. It made the hairline worse. It made everything harder and then the product that I'm going to try to use to stick this down but I think I cut that out because I really just didn't know how to use it which was the bowl hole liquid gold it's a good product now I'll say this when I used it um it held down now this hair product I'm sorry I'm all over the place I'm sorry y'all but that hair product you can use the wax stick that I showed first don't use that but you just use something like a holding spray or whatever and you spray your hairline back and then it'll be prepped you can style it like this as well I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through and style it but I don't think I'm gonna show y'all that whole process because I basically just went in and flat ironed it bone straight and then I'm gonna use my um flat irons to put curls in it so I didn't even show you guys the application process but I'm trying to show y'all the end result just because of how it came out looking I was so just unsatisfied and I really just did this process to show it on my head because to be honest I will never put this wig back on it just it 
I'm, I don't know. If anybody wants a wig, I'll cut it, style it, and send it to you. Just send me your address and um, shipping costs. I will send you this wig for free. I don't want it. But um, it came out overall good. I just feel like the lace on it was a little dark. The hair on it was processed incorrectly. So then when I went and I did my process on it, it made it worse. And um, that was it. But overall, this is the end result. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.